All right, welcome to another edition of Boxing Al Garete. So now, um, <clears throat> just reported that uh, Spence Porter has generated over 300,000 buys. That um, That's actually pretty good. Um, let me continue on here. So it's approximately over the 300,000 mark. So that's a really, really good, good numbers. Uh, so it says here that it could actually maybe even overpass the Mikey Garcia numbers that also were around that range. Let's see, I'm just sorry, guys, I'm just kind of reading. Um, <clears throat> Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, basically, that's yeah. It's it's already up to the three hundred and fifty. It's basically expected to be up to the hundred and fifty mark. Um, they're still, I guess, counting the numbers. Um, that's basically great fucking news. Um, I am so happy for Errol Spence and uh, Sean Porter. Those are great numbers. It was a great fight. Fight for the fans. Uh, it was a brawl fight. Um, that's basically uh, all I got when it comes to that. But I did want to talk about one thing. Because <clears throat> there's been a lot of talks about, uh, you know, that uh, Sean Porter forced um, Errol Spence to, you know, fight his fight. And, you know, I've been saying all weekend, you know, ever since the fight happened that I don't believe that's the case. I believe that um, Errol Spence walked in with a mentality that he wanted that type of fight, that he was going to go in there for the knockout, that he was going to stay in the pocket, that he was going to try to push Sean Porter backwards. Um, <clears throat> and uh, excuse me. And this report here basically says uh, Spence says I, I didn't play Porter's game plan. I was trying to knock him out. So. Basically, uh, you know, saying I think that's kind of what what he's saying that he wasn't, you know, um, that that he wasn't trying to box him or anything. That he was just actually going in there to knock him out. Um, he goes on to say, I don't think I played Sean's game plan. I said the whole tour and the whole training camp, I was trying to get the knockout, and that's what I was trying to do. Yeah, that's what I was saying too. Um. So um, they go on, I guess they're asking a few questions here. Uh, Spence one says, I doubt it because when I came out, everybody was cheering me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is the part they they actually put here on the report, the part where <coughs> um, Spence and Porter go back and forth on, you know, who, who sold the most, you know, who sold the fight and all that stuff. And, you know, like that, who, why the, the pe uh, people came out to see you know, Porter was saying about talking about James Brown or, not, or some shit like that. <laughs> it was funny. I, I was laughing. I think it was all in fun. I don't think there there's any personal beef. Um, um, there's also statements here about uh, Porter says, uh, The kid is strong. We both came to do the job. I think I had a little bit more than what he expected, but he handled it. Ain't nobody ever going to go after him like I went after him, Porter said. I personally believe that. Um, I don't see anybody, at least in the welterweight division, giving Spence, you know, pushing Spence to that pace. Um, when it comes to Crawford, you know, like, there's a lot to see. There's a lot to be seen from Crawford in the welterweight division. Um, do I feel he has the skills to beat um, Spence? Well, technically, yes, because he does have one thing that I feel will be a, a key factor in that fight, which I saw in the Sean Porter fight, and that is speed. Um, I feel Crawford's speed will be a big problem for Spence, especially every time Spence throws that long jab. I think if um, Crawford can counter that jab effectively and then move out of the pocket and keep you know, on, t on his toes, it's going to be a long night for, for Spence. So Spence is going to have to go for the body, you know. But like I said, it's... 
it's neither here or there because you know we don't know if that fight's ever gonna happen or and also we we don't know how Crawford will perform with a lot of these other welterweights. You know we have to see him. We we need to see him fight someone you know in the top in the top five. You know of the welterweights. So let's see here. Oh, all right. Well, that's basically what I got on that. Um, just I wanted to just basically just you know say talk about that article because you know it was kind of uh, confirming. I'm sorry, confirming what I said and confirming in uh, in the fact that I uh, that I was saying that I think that I felt that Errol Spence wanted that type of fight that Errol Spence wasn't trying to box that Errol Spence wasn't. You know, keeping him. I even mentioned to you guys that even uh, Sean Porter's dad, Kenny Porter, mentioned the same thing that uh, L. Earl Spence could have made his night a lot easier, but that he chose to, to to fight that fight. So I like even they, even you know, even Porter's side realized that Errol was there to fight, and hats off to him. So. Um, you know, this is good going on debate. It's gonna be a going on debate. Um, I feel like this just makes the welterweight division even more exciting. Um, I feel that uh, you know, I think the perfect scenario for all this would be, you know, Errol Spence. Like I said, fights Danny Garcia next. Like I think he will. Uh, Pacquiao fights uh, uh, Mikey. The winner meets up in December, so let's just say it would be Arrow and Pacquiao, and then let's just say Arrow wins that fight, then he can maybe unify with Crawford, and then after he unifies with Crawford and has all the belts, I feel personally, in my opinion, after he has all the belts, I feel he should give Sean Porter a rematch, because then that would just make the rematch even more exciting and... I think that's the real match right there. Everybody's talking about um, Crawford Spence, you know, that that's the match. Personally, man, I think the real match is the rematch. That fucking fight was awesome. Um, well, before I end the video, um, I do want to announce uh, that it just been announced uh, that uh, Daniel Jacobs will be, take like I have been saying, will be taking on Julio Cesar Chavez um, December 13th. Um, on the zone, so that should be that should be an interesting fight. Um, you know, it should be pretty easy for Daniel Jacobs. Um, but like at the same time, we don't know what Julio Cesar Chavez is gonna show up. So, in his last fight, he did look pretty good, but you know, it was a it was a nobody. It was a you know. So, <laughs> um, we'll see. Um. Thank you guys for tuning in. This will probably be the last video of the night. I really appreciate everything you guys uh, have uh, been doing and um, watching the videos and um, and uh, leaving your comments and stuff like that. So I really appreciate you guys. So please keep sharing the video. Uh, hit the like button um, and subscribe to the channel. And have a blessed day. Peace.